this series, we're looking at how to add inputs into a vMix production. An input is any element that you want to include into your vMix production. For example, cameras, videos, images, and audio. In this video, we're looking at the web browser input. Now, vMix allows you to input a web page directly into your production with just a couple of clicks. You're able to bring in full screen websites or even crop the page to only include certain parts. vMix also gives you the power to navigate through the site and click on links with your mouse. The vMix web browser input also natively supports audio. And finally, vMix supports HTML5 video websites like YouTube, so that you can bring in YouTube videos directly into your current live video production. With more sites switching to HTML5, more internet video content will be available to vMix users. Long gone are the days of needing a second computer just to bring in a web browser to your live video production. Okay, so to add a browser input into vMix, just go to the Add Input menu, and then go down to web browser in the bottom left. Then you'll be able to enter a URL just like you would a web browser such as Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari or Netscape Navigator. So we're going to enter vmix.com here. Now underneath that you'll see the width and the height. If you're planning on bringing in a full screen web browser, you want to make sure that these match your production. As we have a full HD uh, production, we're going to use 1920 by 1080. Now, if you were planning on cropping a full screen web browser, you would want to also select the same um, dimensions that your production is using, so 1920 by 1080. Then you can crop out the certain section that you want. Now, if you want to make the web browser to display smaller, you can resize the input here. So say we wanted to have a, a smaller um, overlay of a web browser. We can make this smaller here. Oops. We can make that an 800 by 800, so it's completely usable within that 800 by 800 square. Um, however, keep in mind that some websites will dynamically um, adjust thinking that it's a mobile or a tablet if it's a smaller size, so just keep that in mind and these settings might be something you'll need to play around with to get it right in your production. So we're just going to change this back to full HD because we're going to run this um, full screen. And then we're going to click OK once we're ready to go. Now that's going to load up the vMix website into our browser input. Now we can edit this just like we would any other input by clicking the cog settings icon and then go through and change anything that we need here. But we cover this in our input settings video if you need more information. Now the web browser input can be used just like any other input. Um, the exciting thing is about the web browser input though is that you can use your mouse to actually control what's on the screen here. So I can scroll down like so. I can click on any of the links that I need to purchase page, I can go back home, I can do anything um, via the, the mouse. So I can follow links as well, so if I go to our Twitter page, and then, uh oh, now I'm stuck, what do I do? If I right click the input, I can click go back and it will send me back. So from this menu here, I can go go back, forward, reload page, and then properties as well. But the properties will actually allow you to change the, the website that you're looking at if you want to. Now keep in mind that the web browser input is usable only with a mouse um, and not the keyboard as keyboards will interfere with any sort of keyboard shortcuts that are set up. Now if I navigate to our YouTube site, you'll notice that the video starts playing and you can hear the audio. Now I can make this full screen if I Hi, want. Hi, this is Seth with so vMix and screen. welcome so that's to coming this vMix overview full tutorial screen. video. In this video, so I can, bring, I can make any changes here, I can pause. I can change the audio. I, I can use the YouTube video just like I normally would in a normal browser. I can change the um, quality settings and then I can bring that back down. So if I go back to our website, I can actually just add a YouTube page normally. So I can go to the add input and then go to web browser and then I can enter a YouTube video just by entering the URL there. So that will take me directly to that YouTube page. So as you can see, this is one of our um, vMix videos that um, I can play in my production. So like I showed you before, you can control it, play, pause. Um, it's just a really good and easy way to bring in YouTube videos to a live production. So say you're doing a lecture or a presentation and you need to bring in a YouTube video or if somebody recommends a YouTube video for you to display, um, then you can load it up straight away without any problems. Another cool feature about the vMix web browser input is the ability to crop out certain parts of a website to use in your production. So for example, we like to use the live chat in, from our production in our actual production. So what I'm going to do is go down to the bottom here for the chat room and I'm going to crop this section out. 
So go to the position in the settings and then I can just crop it from here. Now from down here, I can then click it and position it and hold down shift to drag in or drag out to zoom in or zoom out. I can also use it here. Okay, so now I have a video and I've just overlaid this here as number one. And as you can see, the chat has appeared. Now, anytime someone types something in here, it will appear um, like it normally would on the website. So I can view whatever's happening in the chat room. Now you could also just input the web browser using a smaller size like we showed before when adding it, but I prefer to position and crop it. Now with the advent of interactive web-based scripting for gaming and the like, the web browser is great for bringing in those type of overlays. Things such as Twitch alerts, Strexum and any other web-based overlays um, for alerts can be used with the vMix web browser. Now it's fairly straightforward. In order to use these, you'll just need to log into, say your Twitch alert account, go to alert box and then copy the URL. Once you've done that, you can paste it into the web browser input and you can even hear the audio. So we're gonna have the input and then we'll just paste ours in here. Click okay. Now that will load up the overlay, uh, sorry, the alert and now I've set it as an overlay, we'll just test it out. So if I go back on my browser and I click test alert, there we go. So that's all you need to do is just copy that Twitch alerts URL or any other alert Twitch alert overlay place um, and then put that into your web browser and then you'll be able to overlay that when you're gaming. So I think that about covers it. The vMix web browser input is a super easy way to bring in web content into your live production or streaming production straight from your vMix PC. So you don't have to worry about having a second computer just to load up you know, Chrome or Firefox with some web content on it. You can do it all from the same PC. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.